Copilot is the most powerful productivity tool Microsoft has ever released, and guess what? I can almost guarantee you, you're probably using it wrong. Let's talk about how you can take your Copilot answers from this to this just by learning some of the limitations of Copilot. And then at the end, we're gonna talk about the one detrimental mistake you're probably making and how to correct it so that you can begin using Copilot effectively. Biggest factor that determines Copilot's output is not your computer, it's not the app you're using Copilot on, it's not even your database, it's you. And what do I mean? Everyone interacts with Copilot through conversation and what to say to Copilot is gonna have the largest impact on Copilot's response back to you. To break down what I'm saying, just for fun, let's go ahead and tell a fairy tale. In Rapunzel, you have Rapunzel in the tower, and one day a prince stumbles along the tower and he falls in love with a woman in the tower, and Rapunzel has this long magical hair, and the only way to get into the tower is to climb her hair. He has to call out to Rapunzel saying exactly, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Long story short, this was the password needed for her to let down her hair. Because he spoke the right language, Rapunzel understood what he was saying and he climbed up her hair. Imagine if the prince walked to the tower and said, can I climb your hair? Then there would be no story. So what am I trying to get at here? What you type out and tell Copilot is what's called your prompt. And your prompt needs to be speaking Copilot's language. So how do we write a good prompt? A good prompt outlines three main characteristics in order for you to get to your happy ending. The first key component is gonna be your persona. This is gonna be the person or the role of the author of the prompt. This is essentially telling Copilot who is writing the prompt. It's important because without a persona, Copilot does not know who it is talking to and it's not gonna produce a quality answer that you're looking for. Say you're a sales manager and you wanna write an email to a potential customer that happens to be a big sale. You probably want your email to sound a little different than if it was just a sales representative reaching out to that account. Your persona or the sales manager role is going to allow Copilot to write a more desired email and is hopefully going to land that customer. Some examples of personas could be as a customer service agent or as the presenter of an HR presentation. It could even be as the COO of your company to write an email. The COO's email is going to look and feel different than an HR representative's email. And telling Copilot the persona is going to give it the ability to determine which one you're looking for. Now the second key to getting a good answer out of Copilot is providing what we call context. Context is going to paint the broader picture for Copilot to determine what it's actually answering. Context is effectively telling Copilot who its answer is for. Copilot is only able to use the context of your current message thread. It does not store any information from other conversations happening within your organization or previous conversations you had with Copilot. This means that you're gonna have to give Copilot all the necessary information every time you begin to speak with it. If you ask Copilot for information, it won't know what you're talking about without context. To continue our sales manager email scenario, you could include say the country that the account lives in or you could include the size of the account or the industry the account works in. And here's a secret tip. Assuming you have Copilot connected to your Microsoft Dataverse database, then you could even call out that account by name and then if your account is in Dataverse, then it's gonna have all the information it needs. Again, context tells Copilot who or what the prompt's answer is for, and adding context to your prompts is gonna be the easiest way to level up the answers Copilot is giving you. The third and final piece to our puzzle, the Rapunzel puzzle, is going to be making sure your prompt includes a clear objective. This is simply the output you are looking for. The objective is telling Copilot what you are trying to accomplish. Making sure you include all three of these in every prompt you use with Copilot is going to ensure that your Copilot experience is leveled up and is more efficient. I will say if you have begun using Copilot a lot, you might notice that the experience does not always lead to a happily ever after. More often than not, this is because you gave it a bad prompt and I can be a personal testimony to this 
this. I will get lazy and not speak Copilot's language and not include one of these three factors. And I will find that my answer is just not what I was looking for. I've been using Copilot to build Canvas apps to create and update Power Automate flows. I've used it to write emails. I've used it in my research for different topics. This has given me time to develop a honest review on if Copilot is actually any good. And I wanna tell you my thoughts in this video right here. Thank you guys for sticking to the end of the video. My name is Griffin Lickfeld, the host of Citizen Developer, and I'm excited to connect with you guys in the next one.